Hey, if it ain't hood, it ain't good. Thanks for watching, thanks for listening, thanks for liking and subscribing, baby. Welcome to the Hood Podcast. Back at it again with another episode of Hood Review. Joined as always. Oh, spoiler alert as always, because I already know. We got the homies. Got my boy Royama. What's going on, sir? Hey, what's good? And hey, we have the lovely lady Shasha. How you doing? All right. Shout out to the green team. You feel me? Mm-hmm. We got all shades of green coat. Don't worry about Royama. He didn't really <laughs> you know what I'm saying? catch on necessarily. Uh, I, I didn't get the memo. My bad. <laughs> <laughs> I stole the idea from Lady Shasha. My green is coming out too yellow looking on camera. This is actually a lime green, but it looks yellow on that camera. That might be my fault. Cause I got the darkest of Ninja Turtle green over here, so apologies. I think in comparison, it's looking greenish or yellowish. You know who else is looking greenish? She Hulk, Attorney of Law, mm-hmm. baby. Let's go. Um, let me just say, uh, if you guys remember, um, I did say this is gonna be worse. You said it was going to be hot garbage. Yeah, well, okay. Well, we get into semantics later. <laughs> <laughs> I did say it was going to be hot garbage. And I also said it was going to be worse than Miss Marvel. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. I ain't never been Marvel. more wrong about nothing on this show in my life. <laughs> mm-hmm. I thoroughly enjoyed She Hope episode sure, one. Sure. Nice. What about you guys? I, I I mean, I go back a long, long way with Incredible Hulk. Like, when I was a little, little Classic. kid, that used to be my favorite Lou show. Four Ferrigno? years old. Yeah. Four years old. That live action Incredible Hulk with Lou Ferrigno. Oh, no. <laughs> Lou Ferrigno. Oh, yes, Lou Ferrigno. <laughs> Yo. Yo. I thought she, you know what's crazy? I keep forgetting that Shasha wasn't, wasn't there with us watching them Hulk cartoons. And stuff. I thought she was talking about the cartoon where she no. hoped, when she hoped would show up, would show up, be a bad bitch and leave, right? <laughs> and uh, no, I'm I'm talking about the old school. I think those were originally shot in the '70s, but they were. I saw them in syndication in the '80s. Yeah. I mean that I used yeah, to come home from the, go from kindergarten and watch the Incredible Hulk <laughs> with the sad song at the end. Yes. <laughs> And they had changed his name on that series. His name was David Banner because they said that Bruce sound. This is literally what they said in the seventies. That Bruce sounded too gay, so they changed it to David. Uh, Banner. They did my boy Bruce be dirty. <laughs> oh man! They did so to see the Hulk wrong. the way he, he, the his, his glow up. I also lived through those um those movies with Edward Norton. <laughs> I thought it was in the movie theater. Those were terrible. But to see not only the Hulk's glow up, but to see She Hulk, this was beautiful. Make her, you know what though? Them cartoons, them cartoons, uh, let me know for for a fact that I was definitely into women because uh, She Hulk will show up with them, skimpy, <laughs> with them skimpy skimpies on. And your boy was like, whoo, let me tell you something more because Saturday morning cartoons be all the chain. So, mm-hmm. yeah. So for Valentine's Day, you need to get your wife a green wig. <laughs> <laughs> and whoop her shit with that wig on. <laughs> well, you know, she got to grow about two or three more feet. You know. <laughs> and then, <laughs> and then she got to wear the purple bathing suit. <laughs> she can stand on a chair in a purple bathing suit. <laughs> <laughs> You guys, we're breaking the immersion here. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah, they uh I enjoyed I enjoyed this a lot, man. I enjoyed uh from the from the beginning to the end. Even like mm-hmm. when they was just in the car talking they little talking they little shit and she was going over her conspiracy theory with Steve Rogers. I was mm-hmm. like, this this like she just she just <laughs> gonna go all all the way QAnon, ain't she? Like <laughs> And then the car flipped over. I was like, "Oh, mm-hmm. okay. yep." So now we we start early. Yep. We get no pre. That that whole like wait like before that though like all the way in the beginning where she where she do the little where they they do their little spin on the record scratch 
And he'd be like, mm-hmm. yeah, that's me. You probably wondering why I'm a <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, I, I like the actress. I've never seen her before, but damn, if Marvel doesn't have great casting. Yeah, they uh, know how to select characters and go. Okay, mm-hmm. they look like they were born for this role. What? Yeah, you see Hemsworth anywhere he throw her. Like, mm-hmm. same Their for casting everybody. Is great. I'll give them that. They might be using. They might be using that same lady. The good place used. Some dude, the dude went to his casting director on The Good Place was like, I need a six foot tall uh, Pakistani British woman mm-hmm. who is incredibly beautiful. And they was, and, and like and like three days later, she had that. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So they did, you know, it is what it is. <laughs> but yeah, man, how y'all feel about it? Pretty good, man. Um, I'm glad I was proven wrong, but I see now I have to publicly come out and shame these <laughs> these like uh, different streaming services and say, okay, I'm not about to just give you blind praise. I have to say, oh, it's going to suck ass cheeks. And then you go, oh, now we're going to prove you wrong. But if I was on here like, oh, I can't look. This looks like it's going to be a goat show. I can't wait till she hope. Yeah, yeah. They would have came out with some hot garbage, bro. Like I'm, mm-hmm. I'm now superstitious like that. This is proved. Oh, my is point. that what it is? <laughs> it's a superstition. It's superstition. Had, bro, come on now. That's how you was on when Miss Marvel was about to come out. You was like, it's gonna be hot garbage, and you kept that energy the entire way. And they kept mm-hmm. that energy too. And they flipped it around this time. That's all I'm saying. <laughs> so shout out. Yeah. I mean, I do have some gripes about it, but of I course. did enjoy it. I mean, it wasn't a perfect show. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There's, there's some things that I don't know. Maybe Shasha knows better. You know what I, I mean? Like, <laughs> I, I like, well, I'll, I'll start with what I like about it. I like right. the scene when she was in the bathroom. And those girls came in. Oh, yeah, was that like, was funny. He was like, we about to hook you up. <laughs> Who did this to you? You deserve better. <laughs> they were like, they were like, whoever did this to you, mm-hmm. he don't deserve you. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Or she. Or they. Or them. They put, put some clear heels on her, put some makeup and a fur coat. <laughs> somebody, came, somebody had her size heels ready to go. <laughs> why did they have, <laughs> why did they just have that fur coat ready to go like, <laughs> it don't even look like it's cold out. They just somebody I mean, had somebody had that fur? thing in a purse ready to come out. Oh. That thing was in there. <laughs> they had a whole women wardrobe. Usually, bathroom it. Women usually have. I mean, if they went out to their car and got it, because women usually have an extra pair of shoes and a coat in the car. In you got an extra pair of shoes because your heel could break. <laughs> and they didn't even have to go to the car. They had it ready mm-hmm. to go. And it was like my. <laughs> my my first grade. Here's my first grade. Okay. Why in any show where there is a female protagonist, are there always sexual predators conveniently located within within like 30 <laughs> meters of you know them why. as soon as they're alone? Why is that? Because why is that? You got to Because there's a whole this- it's a whole pack of niggas trying to. Trying because to she can't just randomly go beat some niggas up, man. She gotta go beat <laughs> some bad niggas up. <laughs> like, they they had to. Just, they have to be villains in some way. Yeah, yeah they could have just mugged her. Can yeah, this is true. Why you need three? Okay, if you you got three muggers, I don't think she would lasted that long before she turned into the Hulk, bro. Because they was gonna have to jump her, bro. <laughs> if <it's> three niggas, <laughs> if three niggas, they would have. Well, Unfortunately, I think they did it. that's what would have happened. I think they did it because it was something that had to irritate her. And a lot yeah. of times women are, are irritated by unwanted advances. It's more annoying than anything. So it was yeah, you be more to shocked demonstrate if you get her holding out, out of irritation. They, doing, they were not being annoying. They were straight up like cajoling. Right? Mm-hmm. They were like <laughs> cajoling. <laughs> this no, word. They were like they were like they were like coercive. Mm-hmm. Right? Mm. Like in a in a in a I can't even say it was creepy. It was like incredibly aggressive and like menacing. It's pretty like, creepy because they don't got these. <laughs> they don't cast these three dudes just like all right. These niggas, oh yeah, shit! I'm gonna be in a Marvel TV show. 
I yeah, think you, that probably, you a rapist? <laughs> I think that probably speaks to the age of the writers. Because one thing I do appreciate about millennial dudes is that y'all are more cognizant of this. Yeah, yeah. But unfortunately, the men of my generation, that's the way they acted. Just You could just be taking the bus to the mall. This is the way dudes acted, like yeah. on the regular. And, and imagine having to deal with that and you're 15 years old, you're 14 years old. Yeah, it's, that generation is real messed up about that. Like yeah. we, my generation was so messed up. Uh, if anyone's first time here, I'm Gen X, for clarity. We actually had ourselves thinking that it was normal to get grabbed at a nightclub to get your ass and your chest grabbed. That's literally Take sexual assault, right but we normalized it because that's what would happen all the time. So yeah. maybe the writer is from an older generation and they're writing those characters. I mean, they might be, they might be yeah. from our generation. It's just one mm -hmm. of those things where it's like it's just it's, it's such a coincidence. Like it, mm -hmm. it feels like it feels like she's falling into like the perfect storm no matter what what's going on. Like she's mm -hmm. always falling into the perfect storm. It's like that it's it's the whole like Mary Sue paradox thing. You know what I mean? Like Oh, we could definitely say that about the courtroom scene. Like who the hell was the lady crashing through the wall? That's what I'm saying. <laughs> it doesn't matter. Here's a, okay. All right. All right. Yeah, All right. She did come this out of nowhere. She, she kind of Kool-Aid man. She Kool-Aid man in the courtroom. When there is a Oh there is a yeah. female protagonist. Right? They never give you a proper hero's journey. The 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 protagonist if she is a female is not fallible at all, mm -hmm. right? She doesn't stumble, she doesn't fall, she doesn't give up, right? Ever. She's not flawed. And so that makes it, it it's, it. so when she achieves something, it doesn't feel like she earned it. Mm. You know what I mean? I, yeah, I do. Man, I was, they, I, please give me a hero's journey, even once. Have, Ryama, have you seen Prey? Oh, I, I gotta get, oh, hey. I, I haven't yet, but I plan to. So we're gonna. I we think you. See. I think you will enjoy that because see. it is. It is a hero's journey. Like for like what you just described, that's what that character went through. It's it's earned. I think and you I will really, enjoy and it. I really like the actress in that. So like we we mm -hmm. gonna we gonna see. Mm -hmm. So we are gonna see how how they. I hear, and I've been hearing really good things about that. But mm -hmm. like that is that is the one thing. That's my one thing. I don't I don't like. I want to see the hero stumble. I want to see the hero mm -hmm. fall. I want to see the hero like struggle, st mm -hmm. struggle to become the best. That why do people like My Hero Academia? I don't know if you watch anime. I have. I've only seen the first episode of that. My Hero Academia. The 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 boy is given a superpower that is way mm -hmm. too much for his body to handle. Right. It is the it is it is the strength of a thousand men. If he uses even one even one percent of it, his bot like his body parts explode, mm -hmm. or break. Or just do whatever. And every time he even flicks his finger, he breaks a finger. Like it's a lot of power. Boom. And he can knock somebody out, but he breaks a finger every time. Mm. He struggles with that for an entire 25 episodes. Breaking all sorts of limbs. Just at the end, he's always a broken, bloody mess at the end. Mm. But he makes, it, he makes it through. And that is a hero's journey like you... You have your hardships, you have your you have your trials and tribulations, your hardships, your obstacles, but you 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 claw your way to, to the top of those uh, up and over. You know what I mean? Like you you make it despite your obstacles. Maybe her you, obstacle is going to be emotional rather than physical. Don't do that's that. That's what I, I'm. That's what I'm thinking. They might be setting her up for. But his, but he has emotional. See, the, here's the thing. Don't make it purely emotional. Give me some physical. Representation. So zero out of ten, basically. This is not a novel. <laughs> so you can get this shit a zero out of ten. God damn, bro. It's like, not I got a zero kill. out of ten. Sorry, it's show. You heard the man. I do enjoy the show. There are other things to enjoy about the show. The humor mm -hmm. is on. Point. R. P. Show it, going too right, soon man. after one episode. The visuals are amazing. I like the I like the uh, relationship between. Her and her cousin, I like that a lot. That was cool. They had a little wrestling match at the uh, toward the, toward the <laughs> end. <laughs> Don't try to. That was funny. So it is. There is a lot to enjoy here. I just, I don't know. I just wish they would do that with. I, I wish they would just give us like a female protagonist that struggles, even once. Miss mm. Marvel. That's, that like that that that's what I like about Miss Marvel. That's what I like about Miss Marvel. 
That was my issue with the new uh, the the Star Wars <laughs> movies with Ray. That's what I'm gonna call them. That's what I'm saying. I, I, I never Same could thing. get into her. I don't like her. I just like this is no. A waste I did of like Ray. I did like Ray. I did like Ray. Uh, but I do like Miss Marvel because she does struggle. <laughs> she struggles the entire. Oh, who who else? Physically, you, mentally, who else you hate, bro? <laughs> <laughs> Keep them coming, I ain't gonna bro. lie, the show was good. The jokes was on point, bro. Like her, like her, like talking, talking bad to Bruce the entire time. It just reminds me of like my family. <laughs> and I just like, damn. If I was a Hulk and my favorite cousin was a Hulk, this, these would be the conversations we would be having. Like, and then she liked to punch me too. So like, I probably, mm-hmm. so like she be, I, I probably be getting these Hulk fist punches and, and shit to my to my like shoulder and be like. Just have to walk around with a broken bone for a while and just. I he just, did. I was, <laughs> he did one thing that if they w- weren't both Hulks, he would have got uh, canceled for. He backhanded her into a tree. <laughs> like, uh, he Dragon Ball. He Hulk. slapped her ass. <laughs> Any other time, a man backhanded a woman, we would be like upset about, but not this time because they're both Hulks. She ran that man over. With Somebody a gonna have an issue with it. Don't you worry. Mm-hmm. <laughs> she ran that man over with a jeep and threw him into the boat. And that shit was so funny, bro. Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> it was just so funny to watch these immensely powerful people just like ripping this little island apart for no reason. Like just having a spat. Mm-hmm. Just having like he, a little. <laughs> he threw her off a cliff. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that was so funny, dude. <laughs> he said. She already banging with this nigga though. That's my only thing. He's like, bro, do you know how many? Sh- wasn't Hulk like this nigga no, Hulk was like the second Marvel? <laughs> this nigga yeah, like the yeah. second Marvel movie to ever come out, bro. Yo, and he's mm-hmm. been banging since day one, bro. And she yeah. came in and whooped and, this nigga. And stood toe to toe. But but I ain't gonna lie, when he pushed off that mountain though, that shit was so funny, bro. He, he put together around, a he whole. Wasn't even scared. She was just like... <laughs> that was yeah. a cool shot. <laughs> He put together a whole ass syllabus college course on how to <laughs> how to maintain the Hulk. Like it was probably it was probably whole ass dissertations and that shit. <laughs> but that is one thing that I can say was probably canon though, like because as far as I've known, she She Hulk has always had better control of the Hulk side than Banner <laughs> ever had, right? I so, like I like how they explained it though. They could yeah, just yeah, not yeah. explain it. They didn't have to explain it. No, they didn't. They didn't have to explain anything. Mm-hmm. And 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 as a matter of fact, like, unless oh, you explain it, the hoo. better it is. <laughs> you you think you got anger, and you think you got you know how to control your anger. Huh? Try being a woman. Why a lawyer? <laughs> a lawyer. <laughs> and, yeah, it's double women. Beat his ass. I wasn't. I go. wasn't tripping about her control because I figured she would have better control. She anyway, definitely because does. She, as as far as long as I've ever known, she hoped she's always had better control. Yep, and I love how they explained it on the show because they didn't have to show that shit. They didn't have to explain anything. They didn't have to explain. Or anything. they could have did some <laughs> shit where she say this shit like at the like season finale or something. Like what? They need to explain why she can go toe to toe with the Hulk after he been banging on niggas for twenty years. <laughs> but well, to be fair, he wasn't full Hulk. He was he was like Smart half Hulk. Banner. Yeah, yeah, but and... she's like she's like Smart Hulk too. Still, it's not like, it's not like she's <laughs> going it's... full. Like no like shit. Yeah, full that's true. Hold on, no Good sleep point. on Good half point. Banner now. <laughs> yeah, she's not like she's not going full primate mode on him. <laughs> they, when they now when they were yelling at each other and going, Rah! I was just like, whoa. Calm down, both of y'all. <laughs> we don't need how y'all like neighbors, how y'all like the CGI. Oh, it looks good, especially it's in the way face. better than it was in the trailer. In the trailer, the trailer had like, me ready to crack some jokes. These niggas look like Slimer from uh fucking Ghostbusters in the trailer, mm-hmm. bro. But, <laughs> <laughs> Remember that high C punch that he came that shit was busting, bro. That orange, Octo. What was it called? <laughs> Ecto. Ecto orange or something. Ecto cooler. Ecto oh, yeah, cooler. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That shit was buzzing. 
<laughs> and yeah, that's what they look like in the trailer too. I was like, they look like booger people in the trailer. Let me <laughs> tell you, they they did they did much better. Y'all polished that shit up. The trailer looked like a, some a dude was in a green screen, like that. You know that green bodysuit they be having. Mm-hmm. Yeah. He was just doing this. Dude. Disney, you know what I I think happened? I think uh, Disney saw the state of that trailer. And immediately fired their quality assurance. They pulled the Sonic <laughs> on their head. <laughs> it was just like, it was just like, get the fuck out. They, <laughs> get out. They pulled the Sonic the Hedgehog on them, bro. Yeah. <laughs> Sonic the Hedgehog was much more egregious, though. So. Right. So, Y'all don't, oh, the, everybody roasting it. All right. Whoever <laughs> was in charge of this shit, come on in here. Pack your shit. <laughs> Take I'm your surprised ass. We to, even got a Sonic 2 out of that shit. Take your ass to WB. <laughs> <laughs> Y'all fired. Go go work on the Flash series. Shit. No, for, no they gonna cancel that movie. Dude, <laughs> 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 like four straight years. Yeah, baby, you know I'm working on a movie or whatever. Ezra What's Miller, it called? What the fuck is Ezra Miller doing right now? Is he okay? He apologizing. He's gonna apologize. Yes. I was just having a conversation with my sister about how that's how they should reboot uh Warner Brothers Batman series. See, Ezra should have been the Riddler, because that's what he's running around doing right now. <laughs> yeah. And then Kanye West should be the Joker. <laughs> uh, and then some somehow you gotta put Kid Cudi in it, but I don't know uh what what, what character and Pete Davidson. <laughs> I feel like those four people need to be Batman villains. <laughs> Cause they all belong in an Arkham Asylum. <laughs> man, leave Pete Davidson alone, man. Pete Davidson ain't did nothing to nobody, man. Y'all leave Pete Davidson alone. I'll, I'll reserve judgment until <laughs> I see his. He got a movie called Bodies, Bodies, Bodies. His, his I gotta name, check that his out. His name is Skeet. <laughs> man. Look at you, man. Bodies, Bodies, Bodies. Yeah, he he. Yeah, that's a horror. That's a horror flick. Yeah, it's a slasher movie. Okay. Yeah, he peed but, um, in uh, there and, and he's probably get murdered. tried to apologize, and I think the next step is he's probably going to check himself into rehab because yeah. that's what people usually do when they he's have money and they want to avoid jail. Tour too, right? He's on a whole apology tour. Mm-hmm. <laughs> <sighs> well, we, we all the way in D.C. Let's go back to Marvel. Man. Let's go back to Marvel? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I know. His Warner Brothers probably yoked him up by the neck and said, we spent $200 million on your movie. Get it together. <laughs> yeah. Okay. We don't cancel like three other movies in the same mm-hmm. month. So please, bro, don't, don't this make us cancel I'm, the only thing we're working on. Let me this is what I'm excited for in the She Hulk series. I want to mm-hmm. see who she's actually gonna be fighting. Mm-hmm. Right? And and she has refused to become a superhero. So like mm-hmm. that's the that's the classic hero trope of anti hero. Yeah, like you give up. Like you're offered the sword and you refuse the sword. You just that's know the that classic shit. hero trope. And not and when I saw that, I was like, okay, this might work out. Like this might work out. Like when she she don't want it, but this is gonna be her struggle. Is like not wanting the mantle, but being mm-hmm. fo- having it foisted upon you. Um, but then they had that. Then they had that courtroom scene, and she and then she one punch man that. Be- <laughs> <laughs> she one punch man that girl through the wall. I thought she was dead. Like, I thought she killed her. <laughs> I was like, I, I wasn't catching on that this chick was like super powered like that. I, I know she like, was throwing shit, this? but I ain't. Who I don't know her. Lady? I don't know how uh, resilient she is. I thought she was dead right there. I, I don't know. Yeah, she, just she like all killed her. <laughs> she just came through. She just came through with the fur and shit. She was just walking. I was and just she like, said, who is this lady? Mm-hmm. She know I'm, I'm about to go get my ass whooped. Somebody's about to have an origin story on my ass. And sure enough. I was just like, I was just like, oh, that's the Mary Sue coming out. Because the Mary Sue, when they, when she came, I was just like, oh, she's just going to have a normal lawyer life. And when she busted the wall, I was like, oh, can't. Let's see what's going to happen. You like, can't, though, just happen? have a normal life, right? Like, yeah, you just, you what you going to do? Oh, I was so scared. And if somebody <laughs> gets shot and killed. And then they go, she, y'all know she, she hoe, mm-hmm. right? She ain't even, <laughs> <laughs> and she know how to control that shit, bro. Boo yeah, her, boo, really good at boo, she's tomato, really good tomato. At but that's why I said she has to 
whatever she happens, she gonna have to go. Mm-hmm. She gotta go zero to a hundred, no matter what, bro. Yeah. So I feel what, what Hope was saying. What is this supposed to be rated? Because I'm just thinking about the last line she said, and I was like, <laughs> what uh, you talking about the after? She credits? said, "Captain America fucks." After, you talking about after? after is that what um, she said? Yes. No, she. They cut it off. Like if they you. cut, they cut it off. But like right when the, the KS would have been said, but that's what she was about to say. <laughs> oh, they always do that. They mm-hmm. always do that in Disney. They skirt the line. I'm gonna say it's they TV 14. I'm gonna keep it real. It's got to be TV 14. Mm-hmm. They did that exact same thing with Spider Man. Spider Man, when when uh, Mysterio unveils himself, and they and it's like Peter Parker is Spider Man, and they they show. <laughs> they show us close up of Spider Man. He said, mm-hmm. "What the?" F-? And then it it, it cut to mm-hmm. the thing, and they did the same thing with the. Uh, that was no way with, home, uh, right? Nick Fury. They did the exact same thing mm-hmm. with Nick Fury. But they only cut off the S. Like you could hear her say "fuck," and they. Yeah. But you could tell I she was going to say. I didn't fuck. hear that part. It was in. The, it was. It was in the after credit scene. I didn't see the after credit scene. Yeah. That's the part. I heard. That's the thing. I mean, I heard. Well, because you didn't jam that. long enough to E, bro. You turned that shit off as soon as she started rapping. You ain't shit for that. First of all, I listened to E <laughs> for a good minute. <laughs> you I gave ain't... up on her, bro. Yeah. You supposed to vibe out, bro. It's the it's the pilot. Come on now. <laughs> <laughs> bro. The only person that didn't. The only person that didn't watch the after credit saying, "Hey, E." I was just like, I was just like, damn, they they went all the way out of. She married to a billionaire, bro. You did her dirty as shit, bro. Mm-hmm. I said they went all the way out and got E. Damn, That's he's crazy. She get That's crazy. They bro. shout out to Disney. They showed love, bro. They showed love. They showed love for real. They showed did. They showed more love than you did, bro. <laughs> I was I was gonna shut it off, but then I noticed that it said six more minutes, and I was like, "Well, the credits aren't gonna be six minutes long." I was jamming. I, I, uh, I was waiting for the that. Credits and still didn't see a credit. Uh, I was waiting for I, that um, Eve extended edition, bro. I was finna buy about throughout until that shit turned off. I know how Marvel is. <laughs> it's Marvel, that's bro. A, that's the thing. Marvel not gonna have me sitting through credits every goddamn episode. <laughs> <laughs> All right, yeah, ain't I'm nobody like, finna tell you. I, I look for the after credit go. scene. I look for the after credit scene, and if I don't see him, I just go. <laughs> you skip right over this one, buddy. Yeah, I you, sure did. Rookie mistake. <laughs> I sure did. It's all good though. Um. So yeah, the, well done on the CGI. Uh, mm-hmm. What about the action? They get. I think they gave us way more action than I was expecting to see. I. I don't know what I expected. I don't know what I expected, but them like power bombing each other through the fucking rain rainforest was not. <laughs> <laughs> like, I um, I didn't expect her to pull the top off a tank. I kind of did. I don't know why, but I I kind of did. But at the same time, like, I, I enjoyed it. I enjoyed all of it. It was good, man. Like the action was good. I, I, was I didn't also- expect a whole lot of that. I was also surprised at how well the CGI transformations work because usually I don't like CGI transformations, but hers didn't. They looked okay. Yeah. Was well, Disney? Mm-hmm. Right? They literally <laughs> they rebuilt tra- a dead man. They got a- for an entire Star Wars uh, movie. Right. So if you uh, if you got a question about their CGI, just watch Guardians this is of true. the Galaxy. Well, it's it's um, watch, industrial light magic. Wrong. And watch yeah. Rocket <laughs> Raccoon lips. Mm-hmm. Move perfectly in sync <laughs> yeah. to the words that he's saying, bro. That's Tron Legacy. That shit is that yeah. shit is like twenty years old, and the, and the CGI still look good. Did y'all watch I Am Group? No, I not yet. Not. Okay, it's I shorts. It's like six minute shorts. I want. I tried to. I tried to uh, get my kid to watch it. I was like, "Hey, let's watch I Am Group." She was like, Wait. "I am not watching that." <laughs> 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 What's that funny is bitch, Guardians yeah. of the Galaxy is the only mo- mo- one of these movies that my grandmother likes. She don't like <laughs> super. She don't like comic book superhero stuff. She don't like sci-fi. But she was watching Guardians of the Galaxy. I said, "Grandma, you want me to change the channel to something you like?" She said, yeah, "No, yeah. I want to see what this raccoon gonna do." This raccoon <laughs> run for what? <laughs> He got the most charisma out of the entire mm-hmm. show. It is not even close by a country man. I don't know. Drax, Drax is close. Drax ain't sh- Drax. <laughs> okay, bro. Drax, Everybody Drax entitled to their own opinion, man. You're just so ugly. 
<laughs> Dude, for me, that was a good impression. Batista should have gone back to the WWE, bro. Dave Batista be killing me with this, bro. He be killing me with them. With them. With no, them he he line. can't go back till they make him do one of those movies where he's taking care of a small child. They all have to do one. Arnold had to do one. Rock had to do one. I'm pretty sure, I'm pretty sure John Cena had to do one. They did, always make him do Hulk, the most about man. I'm pretty did sure Hulk Hogan did one too. No, John Cena. They put him in the Marine. He's in the Marine, fucking folks. No, nah, John Cena. They made that nigga the stepdaddy. Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh, no. Yeah, oh, he did do a kid that. movie. You right? Yeah. yeah that, so Batista has to do the kid movie before one. he can get before he can get his solo, um, you know, superhero stuff. Really, they need like he should have been the one in the in the, in. The, I mean, although Prey is beautiful, I love it as as a, a prequel. That was the, a, uh, Batista needs to be in a in, in a uh, Predator movie. <laughs> I would see that. I would see that. That reminds me of a movie Hulk Hogan was in when he was an alien, and it was these kids who found him, and mm -hmm. the kids and the kids get attacked by some mugger or whatever, and then Hulk Hogan grab him by the neck and hold him up, and then he he hear this water sound. He's like, "What's that smell?" That man said, "It's pee." <laughs> <laughs> you know what I'm I said, well, that, oh, man, childhood memories. Then Hulk Hogan mm -hmm. turned out to be a master racist. Yeah. Well, he said he doesn't mind N-words just as long as they're, like, rich basketball players. It's yeah. broke ones he doesn't like. Okay. <laughs> he told his daughter, you can at least get a basketball player or something. <laughs> okay. Okay, Hulk Hogan. Okay. Okay, Hulkathy Hogan. I, mm -hmm. I'll I'll let you I'll let you live, bro. I don't want to. I, I mean, you just you just you was just one of my heroes. Is all. It's all good. He'll never be Macho Man. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, I like Macho Man better. <laughs> oh yeah. Yes, I grew up on that. <laughs> Snap into a Slim Jim. Mm -hmm. Yeah. But yeah, man. Um, I don't know why we keep getting off off uh, off topic. But I, honestly, it was just one episode, and I don't know how long it was. It was like thirty. It minutes. was short. It was like thirty minutes. Thirty. Didn't give us a whole lot to talk about. Honestly, I mean, they gave us some good action. They gave us some good like backstory, some origin story, but it just wasn't a whole lot. Yeah. There just wasn't a whole lot of duration. Mm -hmm. Um, what about how did you like um, She Hulk? Breaking the fourth wall, Deadpool style. Oh yeah, she was out here. She was out here jamming the camera and everything. Um, <laughs> <laughs> she, yo, she was out here giving the gym looks. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, I think that's what made me like the actress a lot because you really have to have some charisma to pull that off. Yeah. Yeah. And then they, and then they had a hope. They have a. Uh, Bruce in the background, just like going about his business and shit. That shit felt a lot like Ferris Bueller. Why is everybody? Yeah. Why is everybody being Ferris Bueller right now? What's going it on? It did have an '80s feel to it. Yeah. I couldn't put my finger on what movie, but it had something '80s-ish about it. It felt really Ferris Bueller. It is. It doesn't. <laughs> it doesn't hurt that she has like a very almost '80s hairstyle. Mm -hmm. Right. It's like a big curly, sort of '80s feel to it. Mm -hmm. Which. No, nah. hey, and then her hair gets straight when she hooks out. That's weird. <laughs> <laughs> That's weird, man. <laughs> yeah, but this one aspect of hope that we just kind of overlook the transformation and how it would ever make sense. Mm -hmm. uh, they took it to the next level with her, and I'm cool with it. Yeah. Yeah, well, let's try not to make too much sense of Hulk bodies. Yeah. Because once you go down that road, you start running <laughs> into those slippery slope. correct Hulk, mm -hmm. Hulk figurines. And you just be like, God, what the fuck? <laughs> 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 I saw, I, I actually saw one, bro, and I was just like, oh, <laughs> they really took some liberties here. <laughs> but, uh,. <laughs> But yeah, man. 
It gives a new meaning to Hulk smash. <laughs> <laughs> Jay's like, I'm not going to entertain that. <laughs> Are we ready? Yeah, that was a good one. What's y'all feeling? Um, I Well, for a first episode, mm, I'll give it a 7 out of 10. That's exactly what I'm feeling. I feel like I feel like it could have been a nine if you gave her some physical struggles to go along with that mental baggage. Damn, you you want her to get her ass whooped so bad, bro. <laughs> <laughs> no, I just want her to I just want her to trip every now and then. Like, you know what I mean? Like just trip and fall every now and then. I don't know about that. Also, did we <laughs> did we even find out what spaceship <laughs> was in front of the car? At first, it looked like uh, a craft from Wakanda, but then when Hulk was talking about it, it it, it made it sound like it was craft. yeah yeah. yeah. It, I think it might be an Earth aligned uh, alien vessel, probably mm-hmm. like probably like being like a herald of war or some shit. You know, hey man, we got an invasion on the way. Get the get the new wave of adventures ready. They gonna have to fight some some scroll <laughs> Kree or whoever. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. Of. It was a scroll. Oh, there's one other thing I wanted to mention. All the times yeah. that Bruce it had gave Easter eggs to other move uh, uh Marvel um properties, like when he said yeah. that um Wanda. <laughs> well, no, it wasn't Wanda. He said that um, uh, what's her name? Black Widow. Would sing him a, l- a lullaby or tell him a lullaby. <laughs> God, when she used to touch his hand and calm him down. Mm-hmm. Yeah. The way he described it as a lullaby. Natasha. He mm-hmm. called her Natasha. Yes, Natasha Romanoff. Yeah. That all that whole scene was just making a nigga feel feel sad about the one about the fallen soldier. That's all it felt to me. Man, like, the Damn. homies. Mm-hmm. I was just like, damn, bro, you gotta, you gotta talk, you gotta <laughs> talk about these folks. Like, come on, man, like, I'm just getting over these niggas, you know, it's like. So he talked about goodbye. Tony Stark like it was a bromance, <laughs> like that was, <laughs> that was my bestie. He yeah, helped that me was build his bar. <laughs> we called our name into the thing. He came and built me a whole. He came and built me a whole little like, beach house lab. You know what I'm saying? That's a real bro. No when, he said, when he said he kept joking about coming and picking back up, mm-hmm. that, shit yeah. made, that shit broke my heart a little bit. That shit hurt. I was just like, yeah, that shit broke my heart a little bit. He, 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 was like, he was like, damn, man, I thought Tony was going to always be around to make that same dumbass joke. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Sound like yeah. you really enjoyed this that part of the show. I really enjoyed a lot of these parts. The, you enjoyed the banner scenes. <laughs> he had some good scenes. He did, man. He did. He had some good scenes. Eight out of ten. I give it a seven. I give it. I give it a, a surprisingly the highest score of everybody. Shout out, give that bitch an eight out of ten. Um, we'll see. We'll see what the rest of the series. Enjoy is. Banner as much as you can. Oh no, I I fully expect to never see him again. Enjoy. it why you can that is why he gets the eight for me yeah it was a seven and then he just bumped it up a notch because he's him he's got the sway he's got he got the phase one sway bro Mm -hmm. like get your uh first episode ever into the marvel universe (laughs) out of the way man let me show you how it's done let me even his movements like how he was walking around you could tell he been in a he been in like one of those green screen body suits before. Like he knows his way around. Like they just mm-hmm. move different, bro. Yeah. Well, she listen. I I am very I'm very excited to see what they do yeah. with Miss Marvel. I mean, not Miss Marvel. Oh, she hope, bro. <laughs> she hope. She hope. It was better than it was. The so pilot a- of She Hope is better than the pilot of Miss Marvel. Oh. Uh, Mm-hmm. Yeah, 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 yeah. So, yeah. So far, so good. And I'm not with, trying to pit them up against each other because they're trying to do two very different things. Yeah, completely different. Yeah. But shout out, man, it's better. <laughs> 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 Any predictions for the season? Uh, predictions for the season. Uh, well, I predict. 
Well, I'm not going to predict that they bring out the classic, the classic uh, She-Hulk costume because I don't believe that shit will ever fly nowadays. Uh, it's close. Her just, her just running might, around. It's close. They might do it because with Wanda, they have during the Halloween episode, she had on her classic purple and red costume just for yeah, the but moment. Wanda's classic. Wanda's classic uniform mm-hmm. is nowhere near as revealing or mm. scantily. Uh, it's, it's not as skimpy as what she hoped. I could see them doing it as part of a montage. Like, where she's doing I, like a clothing try on montage and you see it for a split second. Oh, like, like a just very that split you blink, second. You blink and you miss it. Ah. Mm hmm. So in this in that in that slingshot bikini? <laughs> nah. Let's just not. So I don't think that'll happen. I do I do think that like she thinks that she I I think that she thinks that she's about to be on easy street. Mm. You know, she she got control of this, whatever. But it's just not gonna be like that. I feel like she's they they set us they might be setting us up for the okie doke. Since mm. you're familiar with the cartoon. What villains did she have in the cartoon that you think might show up in this? I don't even remember the Hulk's villains. Oh. <laughs> so <laughs> I couldn't tell you. If, it, if, if they wasn't fighting Spider-Man, I couldn't tell you a single villain. Mm. Not even from the X-Men cartoon. I think I know the Juggernaut mm. and uh, mm-hmm. an Apocalypse. That's it. So Fun fact, the villain who... Came in just to get her ass whooped is Titania. Titania. Yep. Yeah, she might want to change. She might want to change that name to Glass Joe or some shit. Yeah. <laughs> Joe got one punch. <laughs> mm-hmm. She got so, laid out easy. It wasn't even like she was such a fucking throwaway. <laughs> mm-hmm. <laughs> She existed to get her ass beat, and that was it. So, and I don't know why she was dressed like a Times Square hooker from the seventies. Like, what is this? <laughs> How is it? What is it? What, is, what do you have on? <laughs> uh, <laughs> I said she looked like a Brazilian wrestler. <laughs> I was just like, God. Right. it's pretty tame considering what the what it used to be, apparently. Let me oh. see what she dressed like. Hold on, let me. <laughs> hey, hold on, let me, let me look up this. Titania. <laughs> Titania. Oh, <laughs> uh, it's not that. Bad. <laughs> That's not that bad. That's not that bad. They the latest her latest outfit got her the one I'm looking at. She just got some jeans on Mm-mm. and a big ass and a big ass fucking belt. Mm-mm. Yeah, that's the one I'm seeing. The jeans and the belt. But oh, there's one right next to it. Okay, there you it's, go. it's basically a. Oh damn! Oh this, yeah, with the thigh high boots. <laughs> bro, this, shit this shit is so low cut. The the neckline on this swoop so low it goes directly it into. Her goes belt. down to the waist. <laughs> it goes directly into her belt. Let me look at this. Let me look. Do at you these. know who's playing Titania? Um, you I mentioned her earlier. Up. Home, homegirl from um um the, from the good, good place. The good place. That's yeah. her. I knew, I knew it. Yeah, the beautiful saw. Indian girl. Yeah. Or or Pakistani. Well, it's funny when, it, when I have to autocorrect to uh, Pakistani. Pa- Pakistan and India were one country that yeah. got split in half. Like how Czech Republic and Slovakia used to be Czechoslovakia, but then they split in half. <laughs> but they will tell you that they're two different. <laughs> Y'all were the same people. <laughs> yeah, this this classic She Hulk outfit. They they are not bringing that back. That's just not. I mean, they took the, they took the, uh, they took the swoop and neckline on off of it, but it still mm-hmm. looks like. I mean, it's still just a, a fucking bathing suit. They still gave Titania <laughs> some cleavage because her outfit on the show it's a bustier, so there's still some cleavage there. That sure reminds me. And of- they changed the black thigh high boots to gold thigh high boots. <laughs> Go ahead. That sure reminds me of what they did with Harley Quinn when they gave when when they gave her her breakup her breakup outfit for uh what was it mm-hmm. Birds of Prey? They gave her her, mm-hmm. her, her breakup her breakup outfit. <laughs> That's what that shit reminds me of. She was wearing a mm-hmm. feather boa and shit. Yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. But yeah, man. 
Keep up the good so work, maybe, She-Hulk attorney at law. So I'm, I'm thinking Titania is gonna be a, a running, a, a running um, villain. It's not. This is just her introduction to Titania. I think Titania will get up they and probably her, do some other did stuff. Did they even give her some lines this episode? <laughs> oh, hell no. She just came in. She didn't. She didn't give no explanations and just started beating niggas' ass. <laughs> just to get swatted. Yeah. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Yep, it's across the room, bounced her head off the wall too, y'all. I was like, "Oh shit, she might not make it, bro." That thing. I said, tell you one Ooh. thing. Jennifer's friend looked out for us. She was like, "Take them shoes off. Mm-hmm. Some good shoes. I don't want to fuck up them shoes." I like that part. Yeah, that's real. She, they showing her little her little makeshift sidekick too. Might end up being actual like. <laughs> Her sidekick, sidekick on... reminded reminded me like facially of homegirl that plays the head popper on um the boys. They look similar Ooh. to me. Oh yeah. Yeah, A yeah, bit. yeah. Yeah. I can see that. Okay. All right. Well, I predict that uh, I don't even want to predict it cuz then it's not going to happen. But I'm going <laughs> to say it anyway. I predict that Hulk will come back and Boba Fett the hell out this show where he comes back as the Mandalorian and then she becomes Boba Fett in comparison. <laughs> he just comes he comes to steal all ask, the scenes. I was going to ask you think they, they're going to um, link it back to the multiverse in some way because it seems like all the shows have some type of common thread that links back to the multiverse. Yeah, because awesome. they're gonna have to be in movies like mm-hmm. in the next come in the coming years. So, phase whatever. All right, anything else before we get out of here? No, I'm good. Mm-mm. So far, so good. Disney, keep up the good work. I think this is for our demographic. I think that's the difference between this and Miss Marvel. Yeah, Ms. Marvel's definitely for kids, yeah. So, that means it's better. (laughs) (laughs) Ray, I'm going to thank you for joining us. I really appreciate it. Lady Shasha, pleasure as always. Appreciate it. Mm -hmm. Thank you, everybody, for liking, listening, subscribing, letting everybody know about the most hood channel on YouTube. And let us know in the comments, what do you predict will happen this season of She-Hulk Attorney at Law? And what did you rate this episode? My name is Jay. Have a nice day.